And it's a date. No, I'm laughing. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to our little kitchen. We are Brits and we love the US and we love US food. And because we can't get all of your American food here over in the UK, we've taken to the kitchen and made some of your marvellous meals and your delicious desserts. Oh, marvellous meals, delicious desserts. I got a little bit of alliteration I there like for that. you. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Who makes fun of whose accent there? I they like that. They sounded exactly like I do then. I like that. One more thing, you keep pinching my thumb. Oh, I missed it, so. <laughs> so in today's episode we're going to be cooking pineapple upside down cake the two things to me just sound a little bit bizarre i love pineapple i love Juicy. cake i feel we're gonna have a little joke coming on here a cheesy joke pineapple in case you didn't know what one looked like upside down I've heard the time of my life. How does that work then? Upside down cake. Well, we're not sticking a whole pineapple in a cake, so you know you don't have to worry. <laughs> right, have you finished with your cheesiness? Yep. Yep. So to me, pineapple and cake don't really go together. It's just something that I'm not used to. I'm not saying that it's not going to go together in terms of in my mouth. I think there's going to be a little party going on because I love pineapple and I love cake. So I think it's an upside down cake mm -hmm. because as you make it, you kind of make it upside down and then you flip it at the end. So what's the bottom? Oh. The top. I think I've seen that on the Instagram. They, they do it and they go, Poof. while we're talking about social media, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Search Mr. H and Friends. Sorry about the shameless plug. Let's get cooking. Cooking with H, cooking with H. Let's go. Cooking with H, cooking with H. Cooking with H, cooking with H. Cooking with H. Cooking with H. The oven has been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We need to melt this butter now, so it's a half cup of unsalted butter. We're going to melt that into this dish, and this is going to be the dish for the pineapple upside down cake. I don't know if it's traditionally made in this exact style of dish. It might not be. So just, and we're going <laughs> to, <laughs> and we'll melt that in the oven quickly. I just want to take these out. Yes, yeah, so we're literally just going to pop them in the oven cool. and let that melt. Have you been playing with the butter when I have my back turned? Yeah, the theory was if I spread it out, it'll melt nicer oh, okay. and quicker rather than being bunched up. Oh, okay. Method to my madness. There you go, a little uh, cheeky Mr. H tip for you. Because <laughs> I'm such a good cook. We've actually got nothing to do now until that melts. Oh. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. While someone's looking into pineapple upside down cake whilst that butter melts, I'll give you my little fact. So apparently this is one of those competition recipes as well. Okay. I think it was Dole Company. I think they made the tin pineapple, but let me know if that's correct or not. Apparently they asked for a recipe and this was the recipe that kind of won. Yep. And it was the pineapple upside down cake and that was wow. how it was born. Apparently 1920... Now you can make fun of my accent. <laughs> 1925. 1925 from Virginia. Wow. Yeah. I reckon that butter might have been melted now. You just want me to shut up, don't you? <laughs> this step is half a cup of brown sugar sprinkled mm. evenly over the butter. You better do this then. No, no, I thought you could do it. Because I'm going to do the... I don't think that's a very good idea. Which but... we need to dab these dry. So I'm going to do that a second while you do that. Evenly spread, yeah? Yeah, so, you know, just go little and often. Not Quite to. clumpy. You could try it with your fingers. Do you want to do this bit? We've got to arrange these in that, but obviously don't burn yourself. Hey, look at that! It does say cut any pineapple up and put in the gap, so I guess, you know, just around the edges. I think you've done really well. Can't do. Yeah. We haven't exactly got the right cherry, so please forgive us. But do you want to do it? Seeing as you're yeah, doing a really good just job. Just in the holes, yeah. We need to beat in half a cup of unsalted butter, three quarter cups of sugar until light and fluffy. So here's my pre-measured butter. I see my friend the mixers over there. Whoa! Should that be happening? Are oh. you friends with it today no. or not? No. Okay. Well, you I always get me. That was nearly a Mr. H calamity. Okay, do you want to mix or not? No, no, you can mix this time. Okay. Getting 
bloody good at this. You can actually get these stand mixers where the stands prop, you put the bowl under the stand mm -hmm. and the stand. And it comes down. Yeah, but they're quite expensive. Kenwood Chef? Yeah. My mum used to have a Kenwood Chef growing up. Right, two eggs, yeah? Yeah, into there and mix. And now add a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. Here we go again. Job. Hey. A separate bowl over here with a cup and a half of flour, teaspoon and a half of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we just need to mix that up. And if you are enjoying my amazing stirring, don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And <coughs> I think I've got a bit of dust then. <laughs> dust. <coughs> <Flour>. <coughs> if you want to see me choke. But this bit, I think, might require a bit of team effort because right. we need to put the flour mixture into this, okay. but alternate with by putting a bit of that in, a bit of the pineapple juice, quarter of a cup to be precise, and quarter of a cup of milk. So you can't just like dump it all in and then... No, but I don't know if we do it as a team. Yep. So now we've got to put that on there. Let's go. Smell the pineapple. Into the oven for 30 minutes. It's been in for 30 minutes. We just need to take it out, cover it loosely with some foil and pop it back in for another 15 to 20 minutes. So this is a sneak peek to see how it's gonna actually ooh, come out. I was not expecting that. Oh wow. Okay. That was all you were allowed to see. <laughs> we left the pineapple upside down cake in the oven for a further 15 minutes covered loosely with foil. It has been resting for a further 20 minutes. Now ready to do that flipping. Okay. Ta-da! I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, but I'm just going to put the knife lightly around the edge of this just to loosen anything that might be stuck. I don't think it's actually stuck. It's moving quite nicely. That's all that lovely melted butter you did at the start, Mr. H. <laughs> It does smell really good actually. I'm still not sure what to expect out of a pineapple upside down cake with all that pineapple, but let's see. We're gonna try and flip this. Oh, uh. oh wow. Yeah, I've gotta go get the plate. Oh, it came wow. off. Wow. It released. Great job. Ta-da. That's brilliant, high five. Um. Oh no, you put my finger in the cake. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> don't matter, I don't think we damaged it. That looks really good. It's not the prettiest cake I've seen. It's a little bit brown in places. I don't know if that means I've burnt it or whether it's just the colour that it's meant to be. But I mean, I'm actually happy that it flipped okay. Taste test time! <laughs> Let's have a, a moment. I mean... Mm. It smells lovely. It does smell good. It's got a nice glaze over it as well. I just do not know what to expect. No. So we better just try it and see, hadn't we? <laughs> Elena, that's not for you to play with, is it? Right, should we have some cake? Cake! Ladies first, a <laughs> little bit of ice cream. A little bit of ice cream, a little bit of cake. <gasps> oh. And ice cream? Oh, oh, cold. That nice. <laughs> nice. Is that yum yum? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, right, Daddy, try some. No, no, Mrs. H. Yeah. 
What, mummy? What have we got? It's quite light, Is that it? cake. A little bit sticky. Okay. I, I don't know. You carry on, because I'm still thinking of the words. Ooh. I didn't get Ooh. any pine actual pineapple with that one. I only got the pineapple juice that's Ooh. actually in the sponge itself. Pineapple is always like a weird sort of fruit. It's always like, I don't really fancy it. Then I'll have it, and it's like, oh yeah, pineapple's lovely. Right. Mummy! Oh. Mm. Do you want to try a bit more? Mmm. Oh, well, mmm. Honey. With the pineapple? Mmm. Right. It like, you sort of burst through the pineapple. Oh. And the juices sort of come out. Oh. The heat and the ice cream, mm. that contrast is really mm. nice. Mummy. That's good, isn't it? Okay. That is good. You've got to have it with the pineapple. If you have it without the pineapple, it's nice, mm. but it's not as good as with the pineapple. Mm. And I'm not one of these people that likes fruit necessarily. Oh, that's a lie, actually. Mm. I was going to say I don't like fruit, but give me an apple pie. I'm sold or peach cobbler now. Yeah, this is really good. Do you want to try it with pineapple? So for any new viewers, we don't feed Alana this kind of food all the time. She only has a little bit and she has a very good, varied and mixed diet in the background. Marks out of 10. I don't know. I'm going to have to have another bite and then tell you because I didn't get any ice cream with my last bit. Oh, I've got to get a bit of ice cream. Mm. And it's really light, I have to say. I reckon it's one of these desserts that I'm not going to rave Mummy. about to start with. Oh. I probably won't rave about it at the start, but give me a slice or two and I'll be converted. Yeah. I really do like it, but I don't think it's my favourite dessert yet. Really? No, not my favourite. I, I really like it. <laughs> okay. I really like it. For me, that is a 9 out of 10. Oh, that's Yeah, I really me. like that. It's quite interesting how we've got different tastes and ratings on some things. I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go 7. Not because I don't like it, I just need to work it out, I think. <laughs> like I said, it's nothing that I've experienced before, pineapple and like a sponge. So to me, it's a bit alien and I've got to get used to it. Good. <laughs> Something else, madam? Um. Guys, if you did enjoy that video, drop a like. If you haven't already, please Daddy. subscribe. <laughs> and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. We are going to Texas in six weeks. We cannot wait. Take a look at Patreon if you want to see more behind the scenes and a more detailed account of our Texas trip. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you all in the next video.